Call me to be closer Wish I paid attention I should have known You're probably with your friends Dancing on the tabletop laser appointment and then i'll share with you guys like my thoughts about the experience be like a vlog informational as well um i just woke up and um i wanted to try using like a numbing spray so i'm gonna do that today um today i'm doing my fingers so i'm gonna get it lasered i shaved it last night so it should be okay i also get my upper lip done i chose upper lip because um when it does grow the peach fuzz it makes it look darker so i kind of just don't want that so i'm gonna get this lasered and then the brazilian area front and back so i'm gonna i'm gonna spray this and see how it goes and i guess it'll, it'll also be a review of this but this is kind of old but i just found it in the bathroom, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's on there. So I just spray this on my um, upper lip space and my upper lip is a little numb. So it works. But so let's see how it does in the laser. Oh my God, it's such a funny feeling. Because I'm getting the upper lip lasered, I'm not going to put any makeup in the bottom area. Cool sculpting room. Wow, this is intense. So we have two of these babies. <laughs> What's this thing on the floor? So th this is just to basically take the photo angles of the client. So if it's oh, after, you just want to get a side profile. Okay, pop, that's cute. The front profile, <laughs> and you have to take the picture. Oh, okay, cool. use here for laser hair removal is the, the main one that we use is the Candela Gentle Max Pro. This is the gold standard for laser hair removal industry. It is equipped with the biggest spot size providing you a more comfortable treatment while also a fast and efficient treatment. Also it is equipped with the crowding cooling technology and what that does is that it blasts ice cool energy before and after each pulse of laser providing you a more comfortable treatment while minimizing any chances of side effects. Well, it's great. I do want to write this down on a lotion on there. I like the uh, lotion, but not on give you eye protection. Okay. Okay. So I'll do a little bit more here. 
Okay. That's it. Okay, that was bearable. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it's a sensitive area though. Hmm. So Bear Monkey Laser Spa was kind enough to give me a discount code for you guys. You guys can use my code CARMEN25 to get 25% off your laser treatments. So it should that eyes at the same time while we fire the laser. Yeah, I can feel it. It's like a burst of cold air. Yeah. So how's the result for this area? It's good. I think it's like mellowed out where uh -huh. it's like the final result. Now it's maintaining it. Right. So great. Yeah. Yeah, it looks amazing. Thank you. It looks awesome. <laughs> Thank you. But it's so worth it, right? Yeah. Definitely. It's like so much easier now. Yeah. I don't get ingrown. I don't like it itchy. Nice. <laughs> the ink rocket is the biggest problem mm. for most of the people. That's yeah. why people start doing this and have a mobile. So I just try to look at it first. laser appointment it actually was pretty painless um, I'm probably going to share with you guys like everything when I get home so yeah thanks for coming along hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name's Carmen I post on Tuesdays and Fridays about fashion beauty and lifestyle vlogs so if you guys are interested in that content please consider subscribing okay that was the vlog portion hopefully you guys enjoyed it or found it interesting I love to watch videos like that where they take you along on the experience so that's what I did I can't believe I actually vlogged me getting my down there private area lasered but hopefully I edited it right and she's not in frame so yeah but I don't know I just really like sharing this kind of stuff with you guys so first I want to start with what is laser hair removal so laser hair removal minimizes and reduces the appearance of hair I don't think it necessarily is deemed as like complete removal after several sessions of laser hair removal treatment definitely expect much less hair and much thinner hair to be growing in the area that you're getting treated. Well, I believe the only version of permanent hair removal is electrolysis where they actually go into every single hair follicle and zap it like by hand so that's that. So laser hair removal is a laser that is emitted and it goes through your skin and it attacks the hair follicle and then it travels through the hair follicle and kills the root. It only kills the hair that is in the antigen phase. So the growing phase where the hair follicle is connected 
to the root and about 30% of all the hair in your body is in that phase so that's the reason why you have to continually go back like every four to six weeks to continue to attack those hair follicles that are in the antigen phase so overall I think that is my explanation of what laser hair removal is and that's like what I would explain it to my friend not everyone is eligible to get laser hair removal definitely check with salons and I guess like regulations to see if it's safe for you. The best candidates where you're more likely to not have issues if you have lighter skin in combination with darker hair. So definitely I am a candidate because I have like lighter skin and very dark hair. So laser hair removal definitely did work for me. So I just wanted to share like how I ended up with laser hair removal and how I progressed with like my journey with it and everything like that. So my first session was actually four years ago. Really was unhappy with my Brazilian area and I'd never gone professionally to get wax. I just didn't think it was like worth it because it would just grow back and I didn't like getting ingrown hair and I didn't like shaving it. I think at that time I was just shaving like the labia area. And then I would keep the vulva area like just trimmed. Is that TMI? I don't think so. You clicked onto this video. So, so yeah, I was just like, I'm ready for it. I would say I'm a pretty open person. I'm not that shy around like technicians or healthcare professionals and all the techs that I go to are female. I do want to add that. I think my best friend asked me like what I wanted for my birthday and I was like, hey, I want to get laser hair removal. Found a group hunt for it. Like, do you want to gift it to me? We're kind of like that. I think we like to just gift gifts that the other is going to use. So that's how I got into it. Before COVID and all, I think I would go like during my lunch break or after work, depending on appointments. So it was generally pretty convenient for me. I wanted to go to a spa that was like pretty reputable and a lot of people were going. So I checked out Bear Monkey Spa. I think they had like good reviews and I liked their website and generally it seemed like a good place. So that's where I went. The group was priced well I just want to add that um, I found out through experience that this coupon was for the Brazilian area but it didn't include like the back so like the back area the back hole didn't include that area so when they were lasering it like the front was getting thinner and better and cuter and then the back is still growing normally so when I finished the Groupon I actually just went ahead and joined the membership to get membership pricing so I bought the package for the back which they call like the inner cleft like buttock I'll put it in here because I think it's hard to say and then I also wanted to try the underarm um, so I did that for like six sessions that was really nice I think at that point I've spent like $300 that spa for the front back and underarms which I which I think is pretty good because it's like 18 sessions or so and then I was just done with it but then Bear Monkey Spa actually emailed me and asked me if I wanted to do any additional sessions I mean side note that's crazy like the spa that I went to like reached out to me I think I started even before I like started doing YouTube videos so that's crazy but here I am full circle so I was like oh yeah I mean I love that spa I've already been going I've already been paying for my session so I might as well you know go and try out some more so I decided to do some touch-ups on my underarms and my Brazilian area I believe and then I decided to try new areas which are my knuckles and my upper lip besides the more important areas to me like the Brazilian and the underarms which already have been lasered and are great now kind of moved on to like medium problem areas so my upper lip does grow like peach fuzz some hair there so it does create like a darker shadow which I don't like and I lead a busy life so I don't really like keep track of those things so I thought getting laser hair removal on my upper lip would be really nice so I no longer will have like that shadow of peach fuzz there and I'm kind of weird about like shaving it because it'll just grow back more blood I used to wax it but since then I'm getting laser hair removal so she's in the works and then knuckles I think please let me know but no one understands the sh I just realized my nails aren't done no one in my life understands the struggle that I have with my knuckle hair so please let me know if you relate but my knuckle hair is pretty prominent. Love cute nails, but I just feel like the knuckle hair just takes away from the cute nails. My knuckle hair has always been a problem for me ever since I was little. I remember I used to like bite at it 
because I didn't like it so much. So this was another area that was perfect for laser hair removal. It's still in the works, so they're still growing, but hopefully they'll go away once I'm done with all of my sessions. So yeah, that's my timeline of everything. Definitely special thank you to Bear Monkey Spa for letting me have these additional services. Really excited to see how they're gonna come out. So I think because I've had several areas done, um, I just wanted to list them out, how I found how efficient laser hair removal has been for them. So I'm gonna list them in order of like effectiveness. So the most effective area is actually my underarm area. After my six sessions, it has been just life-changing. I no longer shave it. I have like three hairs that go really long that really no one can see unless I'm looking. But that's it, like it's really like nothing. I am no longer insecure about it. They're not that dark anymore. So this is a perfect example of what I mean that like laser hair removal like reduces and minimizes the amount of hair. I haven't shaved all summer. So I don't even think about shaving. So then the next area I would say is the Brazilian area. Again, it's super life-changing. Like I don't have ingrown hairs on either areas. It's definitely lightened over time because again, there's no like dark follicles there anymore and like you know when you shave it and then it when it's growing back right after you shave it it gets really itchy like i don't experience that anymore so it's definitely been super life-changing and i definitely think it's worth it to go through laser hair removal to like end up here it's great i wish everyone could do it and then next i would say like the upper lip and the knuckle hair again i'm still going through like my first six sections and i ha and i haven't been that great or consistent about them so that's on my part another thing that i want to talk about that i've realized like after putting my thoughts together that probably the effectiveness of the laser hair removal um also depends on like how thick and dark the hair follicle is so definitely for me like my underarm hair before the laser hair removal and my like pubic area the hair was super dark so definitely the laser hair removal was more effective because like the hair was so dark and probably the and probably like the follicle was bigger i would guess so definitely that it's been great and then comparing like my underarm hair or pubic hair to like my upper lip hair and knuckle hair is a drastic difference. My knuckle hair and upper lip hair that is much thinner, although I'm sure it's dark, it's much thinner. So I think like laser hair removal definitely is not as effective. Like I shouldn't expect the same results because the hair that grows in that area is not the same. So I guess I'll just walk you through like the cycle of each session, like what to expect. So of course, first you shave before your appointment and then you go and get lasered. So the laser head kind of like projects like a light for the technician to see like where it's going to laser and then they laser the spot and move on to the next. The laser feels like a like big rubber band snap, but following the laser right after that is like a burst of cool air. So it kind of like distracts you from the pain so it's like a zap and then a shot of cold pain and then it continues until the laser treatment is over definitely feel free to let the technician know like if you need a break or a second i think they usually like start and like tell them to let you know like when you need a break or not so out of all of the areas that i've been lasered the spots that i felt the most like pain or discomfort is like the inner labia part like the top inner labia part i think that's like where most people grow like the most hair so i think that's where all of the follicles are like most concentrated so that's why it hurts the most the technician ladies like they definitely will go in the areas that are less painful and then they'll move on to the more painful and then go back so you can like kind of chill in between but for the most part i think the pain is worth it because i no longer have to deal with like so many problems and then the next place that brings me a little bit discomfort is the upper lip i think because it's like on my face and they're like all up in your face and it's right under my nostrils it's kind of like hard to breathe because of the spurt of cold air so i kind of like tell them to take it slow because they like to like move fast but again overall it's like pretty worth it and it's just a few seconds of discomfort in this vlog i did try like that numbing spray and it totally works do it like 10 to 15 minutes before your appointment i do think i did it a little bit earlier but i realized like for down there i don't know if it like just marinated really long Oh my god, this is so TMI. Sorry guys. But it didn't hurt as much. 
So definitely recommend and then like within half an hour it like totally goes away. Okay, so so that was the pain and then following on to what to expect. So once you're done with your appointment, they recommend like the day following to not like sweat or anything. I think so it doesn't clog up your pores. So I've noticed that the hair kind of grows out a little bit different. Like it's kind of been like mushed or damaged and it's kind of like dead so when it grows out it's kind of like being pushed out of your skin and then the root also comes out so i think it's like the inner hair that like got zapped and died and it's like being pushed out of your skin i find it really interesting sorry if i'm grossing you out with the details but that's what to expect and then after all the dead i call it dead hair after all the dead hair comes out, you'll have like pure bliss and baldness for about a month and then your hair cycle will continue on. And then following that, the day before the next appointment, you shave it off and then continue the cycle. I do want to say like the amount of hair for the grow back definitely lessens and like I think that's a really good like visualization what laser hair removal is like. I'm going to try to include like little images like pictogram drawings that I'm going to do to show you guys because obviously like I can't show you my areas <laughs> so i think that'd be really awesome to help you guys visualize it as i have seen it happen to me and my body so lastly i want to talk about like cost and if i would recommend it so for cost definitely do expect to spend like 100 ish per area so because i've done like a few areas i've spent like a couple hundred dollars on laser hair removal and would i say is it worth it absolutely yes 100 percent if all my hair grew back, I would go through it all again <laughs> because it's so worth it. It's so much more worth it than like waxing or shaving because like you don't have to go back after your laser hair removal, like it thins out and everything like that. So laser hair removal has definitely been like one of the best choices I've made in my 20s and it's great. And now I've kind of just had a lot of fun and just zapping away areas that I don't like. So that's where I am. So yeah, I had a lot of fun bringing you guys along. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a like. Please consider subscribing. And as always, see you guys in the next one. Bye.